Hi, and welcome to Put Your Mouth. We're on big number episode 20. We are here tonight, and we got about four different, actually five different food items and three drinks. I don't think there's anything terribly nasty tonight. There's one that could be, but the foods all seem to be pretty good. So, let's uh, get started with something on that end. You saw us last week. We had Larry the Cable Guy chips. These are two smaller packs. This is... Uh, Larry the Cable Guys, Tater Chips, Fried Dill Pickle Flavor. I don't like pickles, but this might be okay. He loves pickles. <laughs> Just joking. They look like uh, sour cream and onion. Oh my goodness. Very pickles. They smell a little bit like pickles. I don't know. It almost is like uh, it's, no, it's like salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. It's just like salt and vinegar with a little bit more pickly flavor to it. But since I like salt and vinegar, I'll give that a four. I give it a four too. Those are good. I need gold bag. Yeah, you will. <laughs> okay, let's try the other flavor they had. Larry the Cable Guy Cater Chips. Cheeseburger. Now, the two ways they can go with this. It can taste like cheese. Or it tastes like ketchup. And that's strange. Ugh. Give it one on the smell. It's ketchup. Oh. Especially when you just let it sit on your tongue. Oh, oh ketchup. I mean, oh, that's got, like night got, and day on flavors. They got the flavor of ketchup right, but I don't like it. I'm not a huge fan of ketchup anyway, unless it's all french fries, which this would be ketchup on potato, but it ain't working. Mm. It's not vulgar, but I'll give it a three. I give it a two. That's nasty. Okay, well, you want to start with a drink that could be nasty or something that could be too sour? Nasty. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. This one is Ito In Vegetable, it just says vegetable and fruit juice and a whole bunch of other country writing. Uh, it's a product of Japan actually and as you can, I don't know if you can see, there's a tiny little pictures of all the different vegetables that are in here. Let me just read you a list. This isn't your old normal carrot juice. This has got carrot, apple, white grape, lemon, camu camu, Sweet potato juice, lettuce juice, red bell pepper juice, kale juice, green bell pepper juice, napa cabbage juice, broccoli juice, asparagus juice, green bean juice, celery juice, pumpkin juice, parsley, watercress, radish, spinach, oh and hornwort. This covers the whole garden plus the Smithsonian <clears throat> garden. It's not a V8, it's a V16. <laughs> I don't like V8, I don't like carrot juice, but it looks like carrot juice. A little bit. That's where yeah, I don't want to. It's got that stuff in it that sticks to your car. It's very deep orange. Ooh! Oh my. Ooh, I, had I don't know if I could swallow this. I had something to smell like this. It was for detox. I don't know if I could swallow that. It's not too bad. What is that smell? Is that just carrot? Pick a vegetable. Now there's a certain something. Lemon. No, there's, it's, it's sweet, so that's, uh, it stinks and it smells terrible, but it tastes like, like grape. Something comes yeah, out of it, grape. yeah. They must have put a lot of heavy grapefruit in it, a grape in it. And it smells bad, but it's not too once bad. Once you swallow it, you feel that great taste come up in your throat. I don't know about drinking that whole I just bottle. Yeah, I don't know if I can get past holding it. It's like it's like when you drink a well, for me at least, when I drink one of those lemon beers or something, the lemon taste is good, but you can't get past the initial taste of the beer touching your tongue. But yeah, that wasn't as bad as it seems, but I still ain't gonna give it a two because I don't want it. I give it a three. And somebody can drink it, not me. 
Okay, well, we showed you a few weeks ago that I thought I'd gotten all of the Chips Ahoy ice cream creations, but I missed two. Uh, they make a dark mint chocolate chip one, which I don't think we're going to get, but uh, this is dulce de leche, which in Mexican means uh, basically candy milk or sweet milk or caramel, because that's what happens when you put milk and sugar in a heat. And this, this I've heard from Reckless Eating that this is the best one out of the three. To me, the best of the other two is the mocha chunk. I've still got a couple of the root beer ones left, and they were not good. Oh, well, you um, tasted the root beer again? Yeah, the second time through, it was like other stuff. It really strongly came through the second time. These aren't chewy. Weren't the, yeah, the other, I was about to say, weren't the other ones chewy? Yeah, they were chewy and soft. These are hard. But... The taste is good, but I just hate dry cookies because it feels like it's powder. They are delicious. Super sweet. I think I gave the other ones a four. And this is probably going to be the same score, a four. If this was chewy, it might have been a five. I get a four as well. Okay. Everything else we got is sweet, so. For the drink. Okay. Uh, we'll go with this one. Now, you might remember, if you're one of the people that actually watches the show. One of the people. <laughs> <laughs> very, in the very first episode, me and Emily tried a drink called San Pellegrino's. Pompelmo, which was a very super sour grapefruit drink, even though we actually liked it. I think we gave it like a three or four. Uh, usually these things only come in six packs for like six or seven dollars, so I don't go there. But this actually was a one can I found on sale in the CVS by itself. This is the San Pellegrino Aranciata Rosa, which means blood orange. And they call it that actually, though. It says 13% orange juice and 3% blood orange juice, so why wouldn't you just call it orange juice? except for the fact they make a plain orange. And of course, it's just like before, it has the little fancy foil paper on top of it to protect it from germs. And it's sparkling water, so I'm not going to shake it. Now, the pompelmo or grapefruit was very sour, but that's, I don't know if a blood orange will be sour like that. Uh, it should be sweet. It's got too much carbonation. I can already tell, but it smells good. Yeah, it's like drinking orange juice with too much, so much carbonation it takes away the sweetness. Uh, uh, I like that one. It's, it can be better, but it's because it's too carbonated. But I'll give it a a three. Screw you. Now, that's a screw you. That's a screw you. What's so what's the bad about the it? The aftertaste is the scut. It's like the orange peel. Yep. Ugh. But I like that. Go figure. Like the time I brought my brother home an orange from school and he just bit it. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at him. He's just drinking it okay. down. Okay. This, we usually don't do basics. Again, simple items you can get anywhere, but this one kind of intrigued me. It is a birthday cake flavored M&M's. The picture shows a chocolate cake with white frosting, so I'm thinking... It's chocolate m and so it's different than normal. But they were on sale, as with everything I buy if I can, so we'll see if there's any difference. Got to be on sale to make the show. Now, these are bigger than regular m and They're definitely bigger than a regular plain little m and Sometimes the difference in the flavor is just in the crack and the shell. There's only blue, yellow, and red. Primary colors for kids. You know, well, uh oh no. At first it tasted like chocolate cake, now it just tastes like icing, and I don't like that. Oops. No, I don't like this flavor, it's too much icing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, all icing. Ugh. And chocolate. 
it started off tasting like it had potential, but then it hit a peak. So I'm going to give, this is a shocker for M&M's, but I'm only going to give that a two. I gave it a two as well. Okay, we've got two things left, even though you wonder what this little thing is. This is a yet another in the line of Dr. Pepper imitators that claim they're better than Dr. Pepper. I've seen this for years on the internet on websites that sell sodas but can never get it because the shipping is outrageous. This one bottle online, they list it for $149, but to ship it to you, it's like another $4, and I just ain't paying $5 for a drink. But for some reason, the world market got a new shipment of drinks in. I was happy to see this one, but not the other 20 new drinks around it that I was compelled to get for the show, so I ended up spending like $30 there. But this is McFuddy's Distinctively Strong Pepper Elixir. Uh, they got a lot of creativity on the wrapper. It says, infused with luck, 12 ounces for 24 hours of favorable outcomes. Cur it cures timidness and satisfies the daring. Is that root beer? No, it's supposed to be like a supreme Dr. Pepper. It's Pepper Elixir. And I have the reviews I've seen. They said it was actually... Pretty good. I bought two of them just in case I would have another one if you liked it. Of course, we just did drink Sugar the chocolate. Love. Oh, that, yeah, that's definitely Dr. Pepper. Much better than that Dr. Better. If it tastes like it smells, it might actually beat the real thing, which has never happened before. What is Pepper Elixir? Huh? Uh, they went the route of the. This is more like Mr. Pill. The smell was good, but there's one of those 23 flavors that makes Dr. Pepper. They went too much of it. It tastes medicinal almost, which is maybe why they call it elixir. Um, I recognize that taste, but it's too. It's from Dr. Pepper, but it's too intense. Tastes like a wood bill. That tastes like root beer to you? Root beer and Dr. Pepper is 100% different to me. I mean, it's not like... What's that one here? It's like Virgil's? Yeah, it's not like Virgil's now. This one also kind of leaves a feeling in your throat. It's a burning hot feeling in your throat. I guess it tastes like pepper elixir. I see what they're trying for, but they actually did too much. Cherry. So, I'll give this a, I don't know, that's actually, it is actually making me feel it in my throat, like it's just sitting there burning me. I'm sad to say it, McFuddies, but you only get a three. I give it a three. It makes my stomach hurt. <clears throat> I did that, yeah, there's, Maybe it's in there's something in there that's, oh, well, well, there you go, it actually does have pepper extract. It means basically it's got hot sauce in the drink. That's why it's burning my throat. Okay, well. Ooh. If you are, I take that back. I give it a two. <laughs> so when I say three, you get two. Two. There uh, it is. Okay, if you're an aficionado of Japanese candies, you already know what this is. But picture it being a little dice box instead. This is, I don't know what brand name it is. I don't even think they have a brand name. It's Japanese dice caramels. Uh, this one actually has characters on it instead of the dice because I kept the one with the dice on it. But these are little, it has two little caramels inside of it. These, because I've had them for a couple of months, have gotten a little crispy on the outside, but normally they're real soft. But concentrate on the flavor of it. You can actually taste the butter in it. It's that very... pepper leaks and now gets a one. Oh. <laughs> I still feel it burning my throat. It's I down in my stomach now. Oh my God, it's just burning. I'm tempted to lower mine too. Screw you, Pepe Lixo. Okay. There you go, just a plain little caramel. But like I said, the appeal to me of these is that they are just real buttery. Takes a second to get into it, but it's really good. How long have you had these? A couple of months since my last sip that came. Hard. <laughs> Things like you burp too. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, that's very good. If they were softer, they'd be more than a five. But I'm at a five because I don't eat these that often. But when I do pop it in my mouth, put it in my mouth, it's they're good. 
Super delicious. And then you can play a dice game with it when you have the one that actually has the spots on it. This is really good. So, I think the surprise was that this wasn't nasty and that this is. One. Screw you. No pepper lips. Just say no. Yeah, they actually mean it when they say pepper. And Dr. Pepper doesn't have pepper in it. Mm. But, uh, so I guess I've got this drink I'm not going to finish, and I've got another whole one I'm not going to finish. <laughs> you might want to trade. <laughs> but, overall, I'd say that was an okay episode. Things let us down a bit, but there was nothing horrible except this throat burning concoction. So, we'll be back, and we will continue our trek to get new viewers on Put It In Your Mouth.